Hello everybody, this is Nanduram and we are from Sonu Academy. Today we are going to explain about rocks and soil. Children, the earth is made up of soil and rocks. The tiny grains that make up rocks are called minerals. Some rocks are made up of only one mineral, others are made up of several minerals. Some rocks are very hard. Diamond is the hardest rock. Granite is also very hard. Some rocks are not so hard. Coal is not very hard. Chalk is a soft rock. It breaks easily. Let us see about soil. Long back there were only rocks on the earth. The force of water and wind and changes in weather kept breaking the rocks into small pieces. With this time, these rocks broke into very small pieces and formed soil. When the plants and animals die, their bodies rot and mix with the soil. Thus, the soil is made up of two main parts that are tiny pieces of rocks and rotted pieces of dead plants and animals. The rotten plants and animals are called humus. The humus is a dark brown in color. It is very good for the growth of the plants. The soil collected from different places have different colors. Some are light brown, some are dark brown. In some places the soil is red also. This soil also feels different. There are different because they are made up of different types of rocks. Let us see what does the soil contains. Put some garden soil in a germ bottle. Pour water in the bottle and put the lid on the bottle and shake it the bottle well. Now let it stay still for several minutes. Observe the different layers of the bottle. At the bottom will be small stones called gravel. Above them will be a layer of soil containing a large particles. These particles are of sand. You can see the particles separately also. Above the sand, you will observe a layer of soil containing a very fine particles. You will notice not be able to see this particle separately. This is a layer of clay. Floating on top will be dark brown pieces of humus. Let us see the types of soil. Children, you have seen a potter making pots. The soil he uses is soft and can be easily made into whatever shape he wants. It contains very small particles and it is very smooth to touch. It contains mostly clay. Such soil is called clayey soil. Clayey soil is very sticky. Water cannot go throughout this soil easily. It therefore holds a lot of water. It has no spaces between the particles to hold air. Therefore, the plants cannot grow properly in clayey soil. Children, playing with the sand is a lot of fun. It feels rough and very loose. Soil which contains a lot of sand is called sandy soil. It has a large particles with lots of space between them. The water goes through these spaces very easily. Therefore, sandy soil cannot hold much water. A very few plants can grow in sandy soil. Let us see another type of soil we can call as loam. Loam is a mixture of sand and clay. It can hold both water and air. It also has humus in it. The plants can grow well in loamy soil. Let us see the importance of soil. Plants grow well in the soil. They take water and minerals, salts from the soil. Thus, soil provide us with food. Different plants grow well in different types of soil. Examples, rice grow well in clayey soil whereas bajra grow well in sandy soil. Most plants grow well in loamy soil. Manures and fertilizers added to the soil to make the soil rich and fertile. The plants can then grow better than give more feed. Some animals like earthworms, rabbits and moles make burrows and live in the soil. We also need things from the soil for making our houses, cement, bricks, glass and iron come from the soil. Many other things we use such as petrol and gas, plastics and different materials are obtained by digging deep into the soil. Thank you. This is Nanduram and we are from Sonu Academy.